Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to review the challenge Total Madness Episode 1 called Mad World. And the challenges all come in and they start their first challenge, which is called Battle Lines, where they have to pull a rope with a big barrel at the end of medical supplies. And they also have to solve a puzzle and a math equation. And if they're not quick enough, TJ's rolling around in the big tank and he crushes them as they go along. So they have to be smart and they have to be tough and they have to be fast all in one for their first challenge. And it goes in two heats, guys and girls. In the guys heat, it comes down to CT, Fessy, and Rogan. But Rogan ends up taking the win for the guys. And then when the girl heat comes, it comes down to D versus Jenny. And Jenny ends up taking the win. So Rogan and Jenny end up forming the first tribunal and CJ lets them know that they're going to pick a third person and those three people are going to interrogate three people and the whole house is going to vote one person in and out of the three people that they interrogate, they get to pick one, the one person to go against the person that everyone voted in the house and those two people will be in the purgatory facing each other for elimination. So Rogan and Jenny choose Corey to be the third person to join the tribunal. So Corey, Jenny, and Rogan are the first people to form the tribunal. And then TJ lets them know that it's going to be a guys elimination week. So this week it's the guys and next week it'll be the girls and they're going to go back and forth. So after the challenge, they all end up going to the, see the bunker. They realize they're not in a big mansion this time. They're living in a crazy bunker underground the bunker ends up opening up into a big huge room downstairs they have a pool they have everything down there nani kayla and jenna end up sitting down i knew that it was going to come to that because i knew that jenna was close with both of them and they actually end up making an alliance called the holy trinity so we're going to see how that plays out let's see if it lasts but they don't want to pick one over the other they want to all stick together as three so we're going to have to see how that plays out we do see Nani getting close with the Asaf, they're flirting, and they end up spending the night together in her bed, so we have a hookup on the first night, Nani and Asaf, and we start to see the beginning of Bear and Kayla, he's sitting at the door mouthing I love you, and she's telling the confessional that she's in a relationship, but we do know that they make out soon, so we're gonna have to see how that plays out, but it's already starting day one, he's already flirting with her, and she's about to get trapped. So we get to the house voting and it's between Jay and Asaf and Asaf's the one who ends up getting the most votes and end up having to go into purgatory but Asaf ends up throwing out a wild vote to Wes which ends up causing a little brawl between them. They end up getting in a little tit for tat but Asaf is the one to be voted into the purgatory. Okay, how is it that my name is getting thrown around? I feel like you're going, you're sneaking around like a to that we see Wes and Bananas getting a little hug going on and a couple people are getting suspicious and then we find out after all these seasons and all this drama that they've had, that this season they're gonna try to work as a team. We've realized that it's not beneficial to either one of us to go against each other. We are sick and tired of people that are less athletic, less intelligent, riding our coattails because of some feud that we have. So why not try the one thing we've never done and that is uh, join forces. So they end up making an alliance called We're All F. And we're going to have to see how that plays out. Do you guys think they're going to stick together? We're going to have to see. Will they turn on each other or will they actually work as a team and kick everybody out the house? So it's crazy that they're planning on working together. We're going to have to see. But people are already on to them, so they better be careful. The Tribunal of Rogan, Jenny, and Corey choose Kyle, Wes, and Jay to interrogate. And after they do the interrogations, they end up voting Jay in to face us off. So we have our first face off in the purgatory, two newbies, Jay versus us off. So the first purgatory elimination is called airstrike. There's a big wall suspended 30 feet above the air with a bar on each side that the guys have to hold on to. 
and they have to kick the wall and try to get the other person to fall off the bar. And in the first round, they're kicking and kicking, and Asaf is holding himself too far up and not relaxing enough, so he ends up falling, and Jay ends up getting the first point. So we go to the second round, and Asaf has to win this to stay in the game, and he plays it different this time. He relaxes, and he's hanging, and he's not holding himself up, but he ends up wearing out, and Jay ends up winning the first elimination. And then TJ lets us know that he's getting a red skull and that the red skull means that he can go to the finals and that everybody has to earn a red skull and win an elimination to go to the finals. Your helmets have brands on them. Those brands are skulls and daggers. Some of you, there's nothing. Hopefully that means you're new. Daggers represent championships. Ooh, I need one of those. Skulls represent Elimination wins. So you're gonna, if you don't have a red skull, you ain't making the final. So what do you guys think about the first elimination? Do you think Jay's going to make it far now? Or do you think they're just going to throw him back in? Who do you think is going to earn some red skulls? What do you think about Wes's and Johnny Bananas? Alliance, do you guys think that's gonna last or do you think they're gonna turn on each other? Do you think the Holy Trinity Alliance will last? So let me know what you guys thought of the first episode in the comments and let me know what you guys think's coming for the future and your predictions of who do you think's gonna go far and who do you think's gonna be eliminated next. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the bell icon, you can be notified for upcoming videos. I will be doing each episode recap. So if you do hit the bell icon, you'll be notified for next week's recap. And I do have some upcoming videos coming up. So I hope to see you guys then. And until next time where you can sip the tea with your girl Nikki Lee. I'll see you then. Bye guys.